What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you how to draw and color Roxanne Wolf from Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Let's begin in the center of our page and draw two large circles for the eyes. So we're gonna start on the top left. It's gonna work our way down towards the bottom of the eye. And then bring that back up towards the top. Now we're gonna leave a small gap in between the eyes and draw the same thing on the right. So let's line up the top of that circle. Come all the way in towards the bottom and then back up towards the top. Now you want to fold the eyelids on top of the eye. On the top left side, just gonna curve this in and then bend that down. Let's line this up on the right side, going up and out. Let's draw two smaller circles tucked in underneath the eyelid. Starting on the left side, go all the way around and just pull that up. And we'll draw a smaller circle on the inside. And this will be for the pupil. And it'll fill those in black. Now from here we're gonna move down and draw the bottom edge of the muzzle, directly underneath the left eye. So we curve this down in the middle, and then bend that back up. Let's connect the ends with a curve. We're gonna bring this up towards the bottom of the eye, across the center, and then bring that down on the right side. Let's add the nose along the top. We start right in the middle with a point, and go up towards the left and right side, and we'll fill the nose in black. Let's add the lips along the bottom of the muzzle, starting in the center with a point, curves up and then down, go back to the center and do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna go back and connect the outside corners of the muzzle with a curve, almost like drawing a half circle coming down towards the bottom and then pulling that back up. And then we'll trace that curve along the inside, stepping in on the left, coming down towards the bottom and then pull that back up. Now we're gonna draw on the bottom lip. Over on the left side, curve down, cross, and then back up. Now from here we're gonna draw the top row of teeth. Leaving a gap in the center, go to the left side, curve this out and then in. I just wanna taper this out and up towards the side. Let's add one more thing. Coming down and in. And going all the way back up towards the top. Let's add two small pointed teeth in the center. Coming down with a V, do the same thing on the right. Now let's draw the bottom row of teeth. Starting in the center, we're gonna go up and then down toward the left, and then the right, and we'll add a couple more on either side. Now we're gonna draw a curve in the center of the mouth for the tongue going in behind the teeth. We'll start on the left, go up and in, curve in between, and then back down on the right, and it will fill that upper area in black. Now from here we're going to go back and add some thick eyelashes. Start from the top corner of the eyelid, curve this out and then up, tape that back in, and we'll fill the inside in black. Let's do the same thing on the right. From the top, going out and up, taper that in, and we'll fill the inside. Now leave a small gap and do that one more time. Going out and up, coming back in, and then we'll do the same thing on the right. Now we'll place the eyebrows directly above the eyes. Starting over on the left, curl this up, and then bend that down. Line up the inside on the right, going up and then down. And I'll add two points along the top of the eyebrow. On the left, go up and then out. Draw a short curve coming in. And we'll work our way out and then down towards the corner of the eyebrow. Let's fill those spaces in black.
Now that we completed the face, let's move out and draw the top of the head. From the top of the eyebrows, we're going to step in towards the middle, start with a point. Now from here, I'm just going to curve this up above the eyebrow, round out the head, and then come down along the side. Let's go back to the center and do the same thing on the right. Now let's add that point on the side of the cheeks. On the left, go out and then up. Now I'm just going to bend this down and just tuck that in behind the side of the mouth. And now we're going to add those markings underneath the eyes. Starting over on the left, curve down and in. Do the same thing on the right. Now I just want to add some thickness. Starting back on the outside, come down a little bit lower and then back up on the inside. And we'll fill those details in black. Let's add another one along the bottom. Starting from the side of the muzzle, curve this out and then up. Line this up on the right. And it'll bend out the tip. And then from here, it's gonna work our way along the bottom. Just tapering this down and then back up on the inside. And we'll fill those in black. Now from here, let's go up to the top and draw that center piece of the hair. Starting from that point, curve this up, and then bend that down towards the right. Now I'm just going to taper this up towards the top, round this out, and then just bring that down towards the left side of the head. Let's go to the right side of the head, curve this up, and just pull that down towards the tip. Now let's place the ears on top of the head. From the edge of the hair, curve this up, and then bend that out. Now I'm gonna go over towards the right side, go in behind the hair along the top, curve this up and out. From the tip of the ear, come straight down, and then just bend that in towards the side of the head. And then we'll trace the ears along the inside, starting from the bottom, just leave an even space gap going all the way around. Let's add two circles along the top, one on the left and then one on the right. And now we're going to add that hair along the top of the head brushed over towards the left. From the inside of the left ear, curve this up and bend that out. Go up and just tuck that in towards the center. Now you want to layer two more folds in behind. Starting from the top, going up and then bending that down. Go back to the top, going across, and then back down on the right side. And now we're going to move down to the side and add more hair. Starting from the bottom of the ear, curve this out around that point, and then come down. And then we'll bend this out towards the end. Let's pull this back up in behind the cheeks, coming in and then up. Now we're going to layer another set in behind, starting up above the ear, going out, coming down along the side, and I'll bend that out towards the tip, and I'll just tuck that in and up in behind the front. Now before we finish off the back of the hair, let's draw on the side of the body, starting over on the left side of the head, cut the body going out, and then down towards the hip. We'll do the same thing on the right, coming down towards the same height. Now let's connect the hips with a curve, coming down the middle and then bending that up. Let's go back over towards the left side, step up and draw that same curve going across. And then we'll add some studs inside the belt, starting right in the middle, start with a small circle, move out, add another one, and we'll add one more on the outside. Now I'm going to fill the inside of the belt in black going around those circles.
from the top of the belt on the left side. I'm going to step up, curl this up, and then down. Now we're going to step up, curl the sleeve, come in, and then up underneath the mouth. Let's add that pattern in the center of the body. On the left side, and go up and out. Come straight in. And go back up and out underneath the chin. And it'll fill that center area in black. I'm going to go back out to the hips and draw in the lower torso. On the left side, come down, spin that in towards the middle, go out, and then back up on the right. And then from the center, we'll draw the top half of the legs, curving down and out towards the left, and the right side, and we'll draw a straight line going out towards the outside of the leg. Let's go back up to the hips, round up the leg, come down, and then back in. Now I'm going to go back to the inside of the leg, curve this in, and then back down towards the heel. Now we're going to draw three toes on either side. Let's start from the left heel, curve the foot coming down, and then up towards the first toe. And then from the end, curve this up, and then down. And then we'll stack two more toes on either side. Starting from this point, go out and up. Round up the toe, just tuck that in behind. Now we're gonna add in the third toe. From this point, curve out and up. And we'll bring the foot going up. Just bend that down on the inside. Round up the bottom, just pull that up towards the inside of the leg. Now let's go back up to the knee and bend the leg going out and then down on top of the foot. Now we're gonna add a simple stripe pattern inside the leg. Start on the top left, come in with an angled line, taper that back out, and leave a gap and do that one more time. Let's take that and flip it over on the right. Now in between these two points, we'll go to the inside of the leg, come in the opposite direction, and then back in. Add a smaller one along the bottom. Now you want to fill in each of those points in black. Now that we complete the leg, let's move up and draw on the shoulders. From the bottom of the sleeve, I'm just going to curl this out and up towards the outside of the shoulder. And we'll curve the shoulder going up and in underneath the head. From the inside of the shoulder, we'll step down, curve the arm going out and then down towards the wrist. And then from the wrist, we'll draw a small half circle for the thumb and then close off the end with a bracket. Now you want to curl three fingers along the bottom, starting underneath the thumb, curve down and up around that bracket, step down, go out, and then up. Now on the side, we'll curl the third finger going out, bend this up and in underneath the shoulder, leaving a little overlap on the outside. Let's do the same thing on the right. Let's go back to the top of the thumb, curl the wristband going up and then out. Step up and then draw that again. Now just like we did with the belt, we're gonna have two small circles inside the cuff. Start from the outside, start with one circle, and one along the inside. And do the same thing on the right. 
and then we'll fill the wristbands in black. Again, going around those circles. Now you want to separate the top of the arm in half. So starting on the outside, comes in and then down, and then line this up on the right. And it'll add that same straight pattern across the forearm. Start from the top left, curve in and down, taper that out, and then from the bottom we'll step up, draw that same curve, and we'll flip that over on the right side. Let's add one on the inside of the arm, pointing out. and we'll fill those in black. Let's go back and add that pattern inside the left shoulder. Starting at the bottom, angle up and out. Taper that in. Go in and up. And then back down. And fill that in black. And now we're going to draw the rest of the hair in behind the body. Let's start from the left side of the cheek, curl this out, and then down. And curl the hair going out towards the point. Now it's going to work our way up towards the right side. Coming down in behind the arm, line this up in between. Go all the way up towards the outside of the right arm, going out, and then bending that up. And now we're going to draw the tail coming out from the left side. Let's start from the top of the leg, come down around the hand, and bend that out, taper that in with a short line. Now halfway along this curve, you come down towards the bottom of the tail and go in behind the leg. Continue this curve in between the legs towards the right side. And there we have it. There's a drawing of Roxanne Wolf. Now let's grab some markers and I'll show you how to color this in. Let's begin with our medium green and fill the center of the hair. And then with our medium purple, we'll fill in the ears and the head. And now just working our way across the body. Coming down the top of the legs. and then the feet. Now with our darker purple, it's going to fill in the eyelids as well as the lips. Now with our light gray, we're going to fill the inside of the ears. And then the muzzle. and then the center of the body. And then with our cool gray, we'll fill in the back of the hair. Let's grab our yellow and fill the outside edge of the iris. And then the shoulders with our bright red. We'll go across the body and then the lower torso. And we're going to fill those armbands with our bright pink. And then the bottom of the legs. And then we'll go back to our purple and fill in our tongue. And then with our darkest gray, we'll fill those studs in the ears. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw and color Roxanne Wolf. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your requests in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.